Hi guys, welcome back to another episode at my food channel. Today we are making kimchi fried rice with a vegan fried egg and I'm so excited to make this dinner because um, I've never made this before. Kimchi is like this super 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 food that is like so great for you to eat. All this fermented stuff like kimchi and sauerkraut and kombucha is like so good for you. It's so good for your guts. It's so good for everything that makes your body work in a good way. I'm gonna try to make more stuff with fermented food. I'm also going to make the vegan fried egg. Oh my god, sorry guys. Uh, if you wonder what that sound is, I got myself a dishwasher. I'm so excited about this. Uh, I have to show you guys. Look at that. I'm so excited and it and it uh, washes all the dishes in an hour if you put it on the quick program. I'm so excited about my dishwasher because as you can imagine when I'm filming all these videos for you the kitchen is just like filled with washing up everywhere uh, and we didn't have a dishwasher up until just like a couple of weeks ago and I just felt like this is not working so I actually spent quite a bit of money to make sure we got one fitted in our kitchen and it has literally changed my life if you don't have a dishwasher go out and get one that's like my best advice it is I'm so I'm so happy so so happy but that is anyway the sound that you can hear back to what we're making today so we're also going to make a vegan fried egg um, but I'm going to tell you a bit more about that later on in the video so we are starting off with the kimchi fried rice we're just gonna start off with slicing up two small red onions, or if you got a big red onion, just use the one, you know. But I've got two small ones here. So this is the kimchi that we are going to use today. I found it in Ica, which is the local supermarket where I live, one of them. A lot of times when you buy like a traditional kimchi, there might be fish sauce as one of the ingredients in it. So make sure you check the ingredients label. But this one is including kimchi cabbage, which is like the main ingredients, salt, onion, chili, uh, garlic, ginger and water and it says fermented kimchi cabbage you can uh, try this as something that you eat together with meat that's what it says on the packet but we are going to make a kimchi fried rice so I'm gonna open the jar mmm it smells so good actually I as you know I love garlic and I love ginger as well so we are pretty much going to use this whole jar about 200 milliliters of kimchi we're just gonna slice that up Always hoovering around the floor as always when I'm filming is so funny. Okay, so um, we have done pretty much all the preparations that we need to do, uh, and um, and I'm going to uh, heat up this pan, throw in a little bit of uh, rapeseed oil or use any natural oil that you have at home. You are the head hot in. Did you want to make kimchi fried rice? Do you like vegan fried egg? Do you? I love them so much. Um, so we got um, the pan is starting to heat up, and it should uh, apparently be quite um, a high heat. And we're going to fry up um, the onions, and we are going in with the two gloves of garlic. Well, this is three gloves really, but you know, I'm a garlic junkie, so we're going in with three gloves today. Um, and we are frying this for just for a short time uh, on a very high heat. And now we are going in with the kimchi. And now we are going in with some cold rice. Um, this is perfect for when you have leftover rice, which I happen to have today. So we're going in with about 400 milliliters or however much rice you have. Mm. 
We are also going in with 100 grams of frozen edamame beans, which I have had out of the freezer for a little while just so they are not completely frozen. And we're popping them in the pan with the rest of the stuff. The next thing we are doing is seasoning the kimchi fried rice with some um, Japanese soy sauce. Some of this um, liquid that is left in the kimchi jar and some toasted sesame seeds. That's our kimchi fried rice done and now we're going to make the vegan fried eggs to go with because I think this is something that you traditionally serve with your kimchi fried rice. This is a dish that I think is from Korea. You guys uh, correct me if I'm wrong. These vegan fried eggs that we're going to make is not going to be exactly like a, a traditional egg uh, but it's going to be something that you can use as a substitute. So I have prepared some egg white here, which is literally some chickpea flour and some cornstarch and some coconut milk. I will of course write down all the measurements below in the description box. I have also prepared the egg yolk here, which is pretty much the same ingredients as the egg white. Uh, it's just a little bit less coconut milk and a little bit of coconut oil in this. It's also some turmeric. The magic ingredients in this uh, vegan fried egg is of course this uh, Indian mountain, mountain salt, uh, which makes everything taste like egg. Uh, if you like egg and you are eating vegan, this is something that you should definitely invest in. It doesn't cost that much and it lasts for a really long time. And it's unbelievable how much it tastes like egg when you use it. You could just call it like a, a chickpea uh, pancake with the uh, egg flavor if you want, but I prefer to call it a vegan fried egg because that's what I want it to be. So let's just make it and we will see how it goes. So I've got the frying pan, the big one I've already used for the kimchi fried rice, so we're going to use the small one and we're going to use some neutral rapeseed oil. And while the vegan fried egg is um, frying away, I am just, uh, I'm going to uh, start dishing up the kimchi fried rice. So guys, this is my first attempt at making kimchi fried rice with uh, a vegan fried egg. Or a chickpea pancake, maybe we should say, that tastes like an egg. Or maybe we should call it a chickpea pancake with egg flavor. Well, the, the fried egg definitely has more, more of a texture like a pancake, but it will taste like egg because that salt tastes like egg. But I just felt like, you want something more with this dish and traditionally you eat it with uh, fried eggs, so I thought why not? Mmm! I would maybe actually add a little bit more of this, um, this sauce from um, the kimchi jar just to see how that actually tastes. You can really taste like all the garlic and the ginger and all the chili spices and everything in the kimchi in the fermented kimchi. It is, I really like this. You have to try it guys, it's so good. And so simple to make as well. It took me like 10 minutes, seriously. And you can also make this without the vegan fried egg. Um, it will taste great as well, but I think that adds like, add, it adds like another dimension to have something else as well on top of this dish. Guys, if you like this video and you wanna see more stuff like it, make sure you hit the like button and that you subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell as well so that you get notified when I post my next video. I post at least one video every week.
until I see you again, have a good one. Bye guys, bye.